Hey everybody, this is your pal Gus. Are you tired of the current state of driving in America? Join the club. Bad drivers, obnoxious vehicles, and assholes flood the landscape. And if I had my way, road rage would be a completely acceptable form of justice. <laughs> I've often dreamed of this when dealing with many douchebags on our roadways. Now, I'd like to think that it would only be a last resort and only necessary to go Batman on someone when they break driving etiquette or safety. So here are Gus's 10 Commandments of Driving. Number one, you shall not have more bling than car. Rocking a spoiler, rims, sound system, video games, TV, DVD, or any combination of said items, which costs more than your vehicle, makes you the epitome of lame. It tells us what kind of person you are. Yeah, you, the guy who tricked out your mom's Civic. Hey, we know you're a self-centered douche who values stupid shit, and that's your right as an American, so bravo. Number two, you shall not subscribe to faux machismo. This goes along with the bling at times. So, fake balls on your truck? Seriously? I wonder what Honest Abe would have thought of that. Maybe we can drape a set on Mount Rushmore. A true teabagging. If you put those fake balls, uh, I mean testicles, sorry if I offended the ladies out there. If you put those testicles on the back of your vehicle, you are telling the world that you yourself have a tiny set. So you might as well stick those in your pants instead. <laughs> Number three, you shall not disturb the peace. Speaking of insecure, squealing your tires and doing smoke shows for no reason also announces your tiny package. We don't care that you have a small package. Just quit f***ing up the roadways and disturbing the peace. And for the love of God, turn down your stereo. I'm not old, but I don't want to hear your music. I think we should all be armed with bricks. And every time we hear some assholes sharing their tunes at volume 11, we should heave bricks at their car. Maybe it could work like a subway card. The more direct hits we get, the more points we earn towards a value meal or something. It'd be like, this asshole just earned me a free meatball marinara. Sweet. Number four, you shall learn the passing lane and use it. Does anyone know what the passing lane is for? Passing. And why is it that when someone is going slow in front of me and I go into the passing lane to pass them, they then morph into Mario Andretti like David Banner changing into the Hulk. They speed up and race me for pole position. Well, I've got a poll for you. Number five, you shall not text while driving. I hate this shit. At any given stoplight, you can look around and half the people around you will be texting. And they're texting while barreling down the highway too. What the fuck? Was Marty texting in the DeLorean? No, and neither should you. What's so damn important? Are you being called into surgery? Are you late for your Apollo mission? Is it Commissioner Gordon? I can only hope your last text reads, last night rocked. LOL, later. The thing is, is that they took the phone away from us, which just made us turn to something far worse. It's like prohibition. Which leads me to number six. You shall use the phone, hands or hands free. This one's different. I think we should be able to talk on the phone and drive. Thanks to the government, insurance companies, and our wonderfully PC brainwashed public, we can't talk on the phone and drive anymore in New York and some other states. Yes, please pass more laws for our own good to protect insurance companies. Uh, I mean protect us. You can't legislate everything, or can they? What's more distracting than being on the phone and looking for cops while driving? You're out on the road, got your phone to your ear, you see a cop, you either try to slightly hide the fact you're on the phone by covering it with your hand, or you panic and toss it. Hell, I guess you better get that extra phone insurance after all. Either way, you're distracted. It's worse at night because you can't see the cops until much later and they could totally see the glow from the cell. Your car's lit up like Vegas. You're f Although fear not, citizens, because we are allowed headsets and Bluetooth. But that's just annoying. It's like Halloween. Hey, who are you supposed to be? Are you part of Starfleet? First, it was seatbelts, which I'll admit are smart to wear, but a law? Ah, it's a money maker. <laughs> Number seven, you shall not drive wasteful vehicles. You know, those humongous SUVs? I hate to see those ridiculous, yuppie, earth-killing vehicles. Might as well have a bumper sticker that reads, F*** the earth. Speaking of bumper stickers, number eight, you shall have no bumper stickers. It's a billboard soapbox on wheels. Hey, I don't care what your religion, sexual orientation, political, social, or economic views are. And I cringe when I see those proud parent stickers. Ugh. It's like a traveling refrigerator door. Pretty soon we're gonna have macaroni art and report cards on our cars. Number nine, you shall not be elderly and drive. 
Now, I'm not ageist. Well, not entirely. <laughs> but let's face it. Chances are, if you voted for FDR, you probably shouldn't be on the road. Roadhog! I've seen quite a few old people driving with one foot on the gas and one in the grave, which usually puts them through the walls of our favorite stores, bars, and restaurants. Hell, and maybe even your house. Guess who's coming to dinner? Holy sh! it's a 79 Ford LTD, run! And that's Gus's 10 Commandments of Driving. That's right. <laughs> Wait, what? That was only nine. Well, I guess that makes this Gus's Nine Commandments of Driving. If you don't like that, you can stick it. <laughs> See you next time, everybody.